Let's look at a major feature of Clover ETL that can help you boost your productivity and better manage your data integration environment. We call it Job Flows, and it's used to help you automate the operations you already do to support your data transformations, like copying and moving files, preparing databases, handling and reporting errors, and organizing complex tasks into steps, as well as orchestrating surrounding systems and services. With Job Flows, you get a complete toolset inside the Clover ETL platform, a toolset that helps you get rid of difficult to manage scripting work and external tools both of which over time can become a mess of undocumented code and hidden perks. Organizing the infrastructure into job flows lets you visually design and keep track of the whole process from beginning to end. And what's great is that you have everything in one place, from data, transformations, and infrastructure to the automation around them. Not only that, but to build a job flow, you simply use the same visual approach as with ETL transformations, so you don't have to learn any new concepts. While data transformation components like sort, joiner, and reformat work with data, the job flow components perform actions on tokens. You can think of a token as a message that triggers and optionally configures a component. Looping in job flows is possible too. Some components, like list files, produce multiple tokens, which trigger the downstream job flow repeatedly for each one. Job flows is an enterprise feature running on the Clover ETL server platform. It integrates with Clover ETL server automation tools, such as scheduling and event listeners. For example, using the server to trigger job flows based on a timetable or as a reaction to an outside event is a common practice. So try job flows yourself right now. There's no setup required, and we host a full set of examples at our public Clover ETL demo server. Just head over to www.cloveretl.com get started and follow the few simple steps it takes to work with job flows today.